2018 We Fest. It is day two with Tyler Farr. How are you? I'm doing good, bro. Good to see you. Man, I couldn't help but notice as you came up here, you got a little bit of a limp. What what, what the heck happened? Uh, yeah, I got a little hitch in my giddy up. We was at a festival last night, and uh, for embarrassment purposes, I won't mention uh, where in Minnesota, but uh, after uh, we were closing the show, the guy walks in a bar, and I was trying to, you know how I am with my fans, I jump off stage and have for years, um, going around high-fiving people, uh, going my little speed you know, hurtling these little, little guardrails because I was all the way back in the nosebleeds. I get over the last one, and my bus is right there, and I'm like, I get over the last one, and I'm like, this guy Brian Erlacher's me out of the... Oh, has no clue what happened. <laughs> Took me down. He was about 6'5", and about 350, I think. Um, I didn't know what was going on. I was mad as hell but uh yeah he took me out and there's like hey, he's this artist he's the artist and I, I have no idea how that happens but it did yeah and it did to me which i know you're not surprised because if that's gonna happen it's gonna happen to me uh, kind of yeah yeah I was gonna say. um so a sprained ankle and a big thump on the head later and a little visit to the er and we're good to go. Okay, no serious wounds then. Tyler Fire played We Fest a few years ago, and I remember we went out into the campgrounds together on a golf cart having a little fun. And here's what I remember. You were not so good at hammer slogging, and a lot of people were kind of a little bit pushy with the pudding shots. What was the hammer slogging again? That's the, the, the nail with the hammer, and you, you hit it in, and if you don't hit it all the way in, you drink. Yeah, and I believe I think that's when I was drinking heavily. Uh, I've gotten older since then and wiser. Wink. You can't see it, but... Uh, he was winking. I saw it. I can confirm. Uh, but yeah, so it's hard to hit a nail when you see about four of them. And there's only one. Yeah. New single is called Love by the Moon. Has being married changed you as an artist or a writer? Uh, it's... Uh, sl- slowed my party in... Um, kind of like the Hank Jr. song, All My Rowdy Friends Have Settled Down. I've had to take a few steps back. My wife is a critical care nurse, uh, so I'm like her worst nightmare. Uh, I don't know what she was thinking. Thank God she was. But um, yeah, I mean, it, it affects like songs you write. And back, you know, when I was writing Hello Goodbye and recording Redneck Crazy and stuff, I was single and been through some breakups and previous hit in my past and relationships and married. You can kind of turn the page a little bit and write a little more positive stuff such as you know love by the moon and and uh you know i wrote a song uh, with buddy randy montana and houston phillips and called kind of like the rain and it's kind of an example of that and it's uh, more of a positive thing but i still you know i still get a little redneck crazy love by the moon is the new single from an upcoming album and i want to ask you one more question put you on the spot because we have your buddy jason ld in headlining we fest tomorrow night what should we ask Jason Aldean when he's, he's here in this seat for his set? I'm going to say Tyler Farr told me to ask you this to make it okay. What do you think about Tyler Farr is what I want you to ask him. I'll send that to you. I'll tweet you his response. I'm sure it'll be... <laughs> he's going to storm off. We'll, we'll ask him that. I'm done. Go get him, man. Look forward to seeing this set. He's always great. Tyler Farr, come on down and see him. 2018 We Fest. Thank you. Thank you, brother.